Unpacking the role of the education sector in the fight against GBV, Deputy Executive Director Eda Bon says her ministry has programs in place that provide meals to primary school pupils as well as safety for children in schools. It care, support, emotional stability and uh, ensure that uh, this uh, environment is created where a child um, can flourish, a learner can develop to its maximum um, potential. And be safe, of course. Uh, be safe, mm. yes. So as much as we talk of uh, in local parentis, we also need to uh, embrace that in order to embark on any academic program that is now focusing on the cognitive abilities, you know, uh, brain development. Bon says the ministry also offers training programs in child care protection and equips teachers with the knowledge and skills to deal with gender-based violence in schools. Life skills uh, curriculum and we uh, build the capacity of life skills teachers in order to um, do um, be, a, be capacitated to have early detection in cases uh, learners are uh, victims and uh, to, to act accordingly and uh, either uh, counsel themselves or to, to find teacher counsellors or the regional school counsellors and the necessary referral systems in order to assist the children. On their report, days of activism however, the elephant in the room remains on how the ministry will work out the issue of continuous the assessment and the sitting of, of the final examinations. And in the worst the case scenario, unite. the cancellation activism of the 2020 academic conversation is ongoing in terms of the uh, human resource needs in, in the Ministry of Education. Uh, we, we would uh, love to have those uh, teacher counsellors at every school that are really qualified, uh, you know, in terms of educational psychology, but also clinical psychology to give that necessary support to, to just uh, monitor and ensure mental health, emotional stability and, and care and support for children, not just as a, as a prerequisite but also as a maintenance.